Right, okay, well, welcome to my workshop in uh, total wobbly idiot vision. Um, you'll notice it's a bit of a fucking mess. Need to clean my lathe, actually. It's a, it's a right old state. Um, all right, okay, what we're talking about today is not the large number of compressors. Those, those are all broken and need repairing. It's this, which is a great big piece of granite. Let's get, can we zoom in? Oh, zooming in is no good. Don't zoom out maximum. Right, so this is a great big piece of granite. It's a curb stone. I'm turning into a one metre long uh, surface plate for controlling lathe beds mainly. It's gridded up so that uh, so that I can use my uh, use my uh, my machinist level to uh, to to measure it basically. So we measure we're measuring on uh, nine centimeter squares here. On, yeah, nine centimeter squares with a with a with a spirit level that measures four and a half microns per increment, which is uh, which is just here. Let me pull that out. So. There's me spirit level just there. And you see that uh, we've uh, got enough light. Oh yes, you can see. So there we are. Uh, if I get out of the sh if I stop putting shade over it. So we can see that here in the centre we've got uh, what two and a half uh, two and a half increments of, uh, to the right. Here We've got quite a lot of increments to the right, uh, about five and a half. So as techniques go, it's dead easy. Put the grit on, put some water on it, give it a spin. You need to be careful to do the corners more than the middle because do that. Two passes in the middle, one pass on each corner. Oh, and we're taking oh, off uh, granite at a uh, rate of a couple of hundredths of a millimeter an hour. It's a spectacularly slow process. So that's feeling a bit warm now. Water and washing up liquid. Washing up liquid gives us a little bit of bubble in there and keeps the, keeps the silicon carbide floating on around. So it's now got a silicon carbide granite slush. And come out a bit. Definitely. This bit needs more taking off than here, so we do one pass on here, then the pass on both bits. And then we'll come up to here, and that was enough for this end. Right, well, uh, there we go. So we've done a bit of grinding. Need to get the crap off of here. And then, time for a measuring session. Uh, most of that off. And the first thing we need to do is mark up a grid. Right, so we're all gridded up, and what we're going to do now is we can start taking some measurements. So I've basically leveled the leveled the piece of granite to roughly level, level enough that it makes no no, no odds. Take that spirit level the right way round. It's important that we use the spirit level the same way round all the way because otherwise the the readings are off. So here I'm at. Oh the bubble to settle. Four and a half. That's four and a half up. And then we move my two little things across to the next set. Make sure everything's square. And then we're at two.
Um, so after a couple of uh, couple of, couple more passes, and um, we're about to put some results into my surface plate mapping software. See where we're at. So basically, we need to set in the the details of the sort of the level we're using. Oh, it was not quite, not five uh, millimeters per graduation per meter. Uh, the length of the readings, which is 90 millimeters, that tells us that we're using four and a half microns per graduation. Width of the plate 1,000 millimeters, and the depth of the plate 200 millimeters. So we create ourselves a grid. We go in and we start. Uh, we start putting in entries. So minus three, minus two, minus one. Minus 1.5, and that should be the lot it is. So we hit the calculate button, that'll give us the RMS error of the readings, with about 3.5 microns. So yeah, not too bad. Um, and now this this should be able to do a Moody decomposition of the of the plate as well, but I haven't, imp haven't implemented that yet. So we go off to the graphic, uh, to the results. So we've got a bunch of raw results here, telling us the, the actual heights relative from the bottom right hand corner in microns. So if the bottom right hand corner is at zero, then the absolute position of the top left hand corner is 108 microns. So it's kind of a bit slopey. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not flat. It just means that it's on a sort of on an angle. Um, so after we've got those numbers, they're, they're run through some fairly funky matrix maths to get our uh, get our readings here, which are the corrected results, which are off of the best possible plane through those points. And we see that we've got some. So the lowest the lowest we've got are minus 18 microns, which is less than two hundredths of a micron off the off the uh, off the best plane. And the highest we've got is what 10.5, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, ten point five. So, so we've got about uh, three, three and a half hundredths of a millimeter of, from the base plane to the roof plane, which isn't too bad at all, really.